Hello and welcome. I am Blander Strudel. This game is brought to you by Starcast TV. This is a best of three. We got free the grey Protoss on the top left position and Sharp the blue Terran in the bottom left position. The map is Plasma. A very freaking weird map. I'm actually quite impressed. Uh, we still got it um, in this season that has started. Latter season, I'm speaking. I thought Plasma would uh, go away as soon as it appeared. But no, apparently... Um, apparently we're going to have it for a while longer. Really, I don't have a lot of experience in, um, in this map. I've seen all type of weird uh, strategies. There's really uh, a lot of stuff you can do. But uh, in TVP, I think it's mo it's very likely that uh, both of these players will go for fast expansions. I mean, uh, the Protoss could go for Reavers early. But uh, I think everyone has figured out how to uh, manage early aggression. Oh, look at that. We actually going for a gateway very early on. Well, the thing is also that Sharp could do like a floating floating factory so he could harass free um, for free <laughs> um, and that might be the reason for going uh, for an early gateway I don't know really uh, I was also not expecting uh, an early barracks from sharp here and even less um, a refinery but sharp I mean sharp is a is an is an, is an aggressive Terran is well known for his vulture harass in TVP but here on Plasma, let's see. Really, these guys are going for <laughs> very unexpected builds for me. So I'm actually quite excited to see what's 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 the plan here. Gate okay, free. Scouting in the right direction, right from the start. Well, Sharp is going to take a while longer to find his opponent. This is a um, a three-player map. All right, one marine being produced by Sharp, so he's going to push out this probe. So Free is not really going to be able to figure out what Sharp is is going to do, but he does show his factory. All right, so Sharp doesn't care about showing Free what's going on, what type of strategy he's, he's going after. And here at Free Space, oh well. <laughs> I would say such a nice block there by the pro, but uh, it actually the SAV could get in and get a sneak peek of, of what's going on. All right, so ah, oh, look at that—he cancelled the um, the range for the dragoons. Okay, so what's going to happen now? Free has got a lot of uh, gas banked up, so he might make a nexus, but. That would not be very efficient gas-wise, and anyway, he decides to go for it. But still, he keeps on mining gas. On Sharp's side, he's floating the barracks, so he's going to get some, some scouting with it. Throwing down a command center. On the position where he's got a gas, while Free is not getting a second gas anytime soon. If he wanted to have a second gas, he would have to go to this base. Okay, and now he restarts uh, the Dragoon range. Yeah, so basically what Free was trying to show Sharp is that he was going to go for some type of aggressive build. But instead he was just going for an expansion. Now, this has a cost, obviously. At this point, Free has got 400 gas. And that obviously is not an optimized build, but that's what he had to pay to play this mind game. And Sharp is going for tanks, for actually one tank, and from there he's going to make vultures with mines, and he's also going for a starport, so we're going to see some early harassment from Sharp. Free is playing very standard, actually it looks like he's playing on a standard map, where he goes um, one gateway expansion into Robo, and then gateway. I'm a bit surprised he's going for such a, a standard build. On such an unusual map. 
But he's a pro gamer. He's no, he knows what he's doing. Okay, dropships very soon to be made here by Sharp. Now let's see how much he can get done because, um, I mean, this map is very good for dropships. And Sharp is very good at it. But Free is probably going to scout it very soon. I mean, even if he if he lost this probe here, he's going to get an observer uh, scouting um, Sharp's main very soon. Now we must keep in mind that Sharp made the starport um, in a far away position, so it might take a bit longer for the observer to find out what's actually going on. Second factory going. Uh, no, sorry. Um, yeah, actually, second factory going up for uh, for Sharp, but he's making an eBay. Okay, he might be perhaps getting ready for some river harassment. Could be. That's actually not coming. Free had this, has decided to make a third nexus instead. Okay, here comes observer. Let's see what he sees. Okay, he sees a missile turret being built here. Another one here. So he's not going to be able to see what's going on around here. And will he find the starboard? Uh, and he will. Okay, there we go. So how is Free going to prepare? Oh, in fact he did made... Um, a support bay. So the reaver is coming back. Oh, anyway, uh, making a reaver doesn't necessarily mean that Free is going to use it offensively. He could just use it to counter uh, Sharp's uh, Sharp's drops. So we'll see. Some mines being laid for scouting mostly. So Sharp uh, feeling very safe here. And he's even making an additional missile turret. So he really does not want to have this position harassed. Another missile turret being built here. Super safe. Now I wonder if Sharp... I mean, he's up to four factories now. So is he gonna go for massive dropships or what? Okay, two vultures here, two probes, three probes go down, go down, four, that's a lot. Okay, four probes for two uh, vultures, that's really very good. Man, this probe, these um, vultures are being way more expected, more, uh, more effective than I expected. Look at the amount of probes that turn going down. And... At the cost of just losing four uh, vultures, Sharp's got 50 SCVs now on just two command centers, and three that he's got three uh, nexuses is on 47. I mean, this has been super good for Sharp, super super good. He was really sneaky uh, dropping um, the vultures here, which I, I did not catch that. But man, uh, Sharp is really, really strong with his vulture harassment. A cannon going up, he, uh, Char uh, Free does not want to have his mineral line being harassed again, and he's going for carriers. He's going for carriers. Is he upgrading plus one attack? Yes, he is. Okay, let's see, upgrades for Sharp, he's starting his plus one. Now, this is... Oh, that tank is so annoying. Okay, this vulture... Oh, he gets two probes. That's very good, man. That's very good. I mean, it might not look like a lot, but in the long run, the more probes you kill, definitely the better you will be uh, in the late game. And also, he scouted uh, the carriers with, those, uh, with that single vulture, so now he knows exactly what Freeze up to. I mean, uh, not necessarily... Free will rely only on his carriers. I mean, he went only for two stargates. He also have uh, four gateways. 
and he's adding more gateways, in fact. Okay, Sharp decides to push through this through this uh, X fortification, but they will easily go down with with siege tanks. Yeah, I guess Sharp. I mean, uh, he's not going to go. He's not going to want to play a very uh, long macro game, considering their carriers being produced. The thing about carriers in the current meta is that the Terran really needs to put pressure on the Protoss before uh, the, the carrier number starts building up. I mean, up to four carriers, it's manageable, but from six on, like when the Protoss gets six, eight, ten, twelve carriers, that's really... it's really stressful to deal with as Terran, so basically Sharp here is going to try to put pressure on the Protoss immediately once he sees the carriers being made. Okay, now Sharp up to... going up to six, seven factories. Which is the maximum you can go on, on two bases. The maximum effective uh, amount of factories. If you build uh, more factories, basically you cannot support them. You don't have enough resources to, to build units consistently on them. And also uh, upgrade and also make science vessels. So here, free trying to put pressure, I mean, basically he wants to force Sharp to stay on this location where he cannot put many units and so freeze units are going to be more effective but I think he's overextending he's really forcing the situation where he, where he deal, really does not need it okay, the river is going to buy some extra time he really needs to um, stop Sharp at this location once Sharp takes this location he's going to have uh, this army be much more effective because it's going to have a, a bigger area um, where to place this unit. And now Sharp really dealing massive uh, amount of damage. And Freeze doesn't even have a Zealot Legs complete. Plus one upgrade for Terran. Plus two is super important to deal with carriers. Uh, plus two uh, makes interceptors die in. in Four hits instead of five. Okay, uh, Free has been able to thin down uh, Sharp's army. So let's see once um, Free produces some more gateway units if he can actually push Sharp away from this base. Because basically, if this Nexus goes, goes down, Free is not going to have the economy to keep on building enough units to stop Sharp. Uh, at this point, also, if this pylon goes down, the production of three ga of four gateways is going to be completely stopped. Sharp really has made uh, such a big progress here. I mean, he, he stopped the, the mining on this base. He's really killing the units that, they, that are being produced from these gateways even before they are being able to, to fight at all. They're just being uh, knocked off just when they're being produced. Okay, Sharp building some units, some um, some buildings to help support his army. And at this point, free. I mean, uh, he's got four carriers. I mean, four carriers is something you have to respect. It's not a whole lot, but the problem uh, I'm worried about here, uh, free does not have the economy. Um, he does not have the economy to to support um, enough production, and free just decides to leave it here.